I didn't think I would make another video like this, since it was very unlikely to be necessary, and I'll keep this one short. It's a little late, but a little over a month ago, on October 10th, Ruthie Thompson died at the age of 111. Maybe that name doesn't mean anything to you, but she was another of the last direct connections we had of the 1920s. Ruthie remembered the signing of the armistice that ended World War I, as well as the Spanish flu pandemic of the same time. It was at that time that she and her family moved to Los Angeles, very close to none other than Walt Disney and his brother Roy. She lived in Hollywood in the 1920s, and lived well past the time when those days were long forgotten, so in today's age, her story was even more valuable. It might be hard to believe, since it was so long ago, but Ruthie actually met Walt and Roy Disney when they were first starting out, estimating their first meeting as sometime in about 1921. She even visited their makeshift studio in Hollywood, when it was called Disney Brothers Studio. Here is one quote from her, briefly describing her early experience with them. I used to walk by the Disney Brothers storefront. I was curious and snooped around, and finally they invited me in for a look. After that, I'd visit quite often. I remember sitting on the bench and watching Roy shoot the animated cells onto film. Once Roy asked us neighborhood kids to play tag in the street while he photographed us with the movie camera. I suppose it was the Alice comedies. He paid each of us a quarter, which I was glad for because I could buy licorice. As you just heard, she appeared in at least one of their Alice comedy shorts, which were a mix of live action and animation. The only identification that I've been able to find comes from a random article online. According to that article, in the short Alice Gets in Dutch from 1924, Ruthie is said to be this girl in the back of the classroom. As for her reference to kids playing tag, I couldn't find that specific scene, but I also haven't been able to find or watch like half of the Alice comedies. But this identification is unconfirmed as far as I know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. After graduating high school in the late 1920s, she worked at a writing academy that the Disney brothers frequently went to. Walt Disney recognized her one day and offered her a job at his studio as a painter. Her most well-known achievement was being involved in the making of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, the movie that really gave Disney a needed boost. In fact, Ruthie Thompson was the last surviving member of the production team or cast for that movie. She also worked on other now-famous Disney movies such as Pinocchio, Fantasia, and Dumbo. So, while Ruthie was mainly known for her work in the 1930s and 1940s, she was also perhaps the last direct connection to the early years of Disney, as well as one of the last surviving participants in a silent film. And for that reason, I thought I would make this quick video about her. I had known about Ruthie for a while, but I just found out about her death within the past few days so I thought I'd mention it. I figured we could all take a moment to remember her. Well, I guess that's all for now.